My name is Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer Obonik. I've been in the Guard for 22 years and um, I'm an A-10 pilot. My dad flew A-7s and F-16s and that's why I started in my love of aviation when I was very, very young. I started flying so young, I was two days old, and I flew with my dad, he owned an airplane. And I flew with him all the time and I just was like, this is what I want to do. And I always wanted to fly the A-10 as well. It was my dream airplane and my dream location. And back then, I mean, women weren't allowed to fly fighters until I was 16. I was a junior in high school, and I remember that it was really big news. The women aren't allowed to fly in combat, finally. I remember that watching it on TV, and Les Aspen was the Secretary of Defense, and he made the big announcement, and it changed my life. First of all, the services are to allow women to compete for assignments in combat aircraft. Women pilots in the military are about 20%. Uh, fighters, it's one-tenth of 1% 1 are women. I was the 11th female to fly the A-10. So you're more likely to be a left-handed Major League Baseball pitcher than to be a female fighter pilot percentage-wise. At first, it was not with really welcoming arms that women were brought in to fly. And then there was growing pains. I had to be 25% better than the men in order to get the same recognition to the same level. I really wasn't accepted until after I uh, dropped bombs in combat and did my job there. And after that, it changed. And then it started incrementally changing for the rest of my career. Nowadays, it's much more accepted. If you can see her, you can be her. Four or five years ago, we got some younger pilots, uh, lieutenants, and I remember telling him a story one day over lunch about some things that had happened back in the day. And they were just absolutely shocked that I would get treated like that. Because to them, it wasn't weird. It was normal that women could do anything they wanted to do. Most people, as long as you can do the job, legitimately don't care. I'll tell you, the guys I uh, helped in Afghanistan and Iraq don't care. I think the world, nowadays especially is so willing to give anyone a chance that it's an amazing time to be a woman or minority and once you tell yourself you're amazing and once you tell yourself you're amazing enough times you'll start to believe it <laughs>